and Ron from Petland Iowa City is joining us here for our All About Animals segment. And he's brought two cute little guests. Who are these guys? We have a little chihuahua here, a little long-haired chihuahua, and then a cockapoo, which is a cocker spaniel yeah. mixed with a miniature poodle. This guy has stolen everybody's heart. Yes. Yeah, yeah, every <laughs> and the tip of my my thumbnail. Right. <laughs> They're both so cute. Te doing a little teething right yeah. now. Yeah. That's what's happening. Yeah. With, so, when you're looking at puppies or dogs, I always say, you know, there's some good questions that you can ask mm -hmm. yourself, and you, they're not so obvious answers is what I keep on finding when I talk with people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, right now we have a, a shedding dog and a somewhat non-shedding dog. Right. And a lot of people go, oh, I want the non-shedding dog because that's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And in some ways, yes, okay, you're not going to have the shedding around the house. I get that part. But realize when you get a shedding dog, you now have to go get it groomed. You have to brush it out every day. When you give it a bath, you got to use conditioner you're going to use right. the blow dryer there's a lot more maintenance in that dog as a result not uh, nothing that you're going to go oh my gosh i can't do it but realize there's a little bit more on the non-shedding dog what is really nice about a small shedding dog is that you really don't notice it all that much they're little things mm -hmm. you know kind of a thing if it's a bigger dog and it's shedding yes you're going to see it on the furniture and stuff like that but these little ones, they don't leave much of a mark when they do, and you go, oh, I can deal with it. So it's a very low maintenance dog. Then another good question is, is do I want large dogs versus small dog? Um, I, I, I love large breed dogs when other people own them, <laughs> is what I always say. Because I love playing and I love rolling around and all that kind of stuff. But realize a large dog is going to require a more active lifestyle because you're going to go running with them, walking with them, and all that kind of and, thing. And the exercise is just more strenuous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, on everybody. And yeah. so you just want to make sure, are you ready for that commitment? Uh, I always say the counter surfing, you know, <laughs> with a large breed dog. There's more training than that. You got to work with mm -hmm. them on that. Um, and then, uh, well, those are the three things to do. Those are good. I wanted to also, if we have time, yeah, sure. let's go talk for it. a little bit about flea and tick. This is the season, right? This is the <laughs> season. Take advantage now. If you spend a dollar today, you're going to save a hundred dollars tomorrow. <laughs> is the way to look at it because if your dog brings in mm. fleas, right it now gets into the house and you have to do a lot more work. So it saves money. And now the doses per month are somewhere around 10 to $15. It's really not that much for prevention, especially if it's gonna prevent thousands of dollars. Um, what some things that I wanted to point out is, is you know, you've, everybody knows about the frontline products that are out there. That was one of the first ones out, and yes, they do a good job. I have found that Advantix is one of the, in this local area, I get more uh, positive results of uh, using Advantage. These are topical type products where you put them, put a little drop right be behind the neck. Um, and then realize Frontline has gone off patent, and so you, yes, you will find cheaper products now, that are just as good I as like frontline, yeah. So, <laughs> so that's bringing the dosage, uh, the cost per dosage, down mm -hmm. a lot. So, sure. um, just make sure you check the packaging on that because there are cheap versions mm -hmm. that they just decrease the active uh, ingredients in it, and they don't do a good job. Okay. So make sure you find something that is just, you know, it's it's just like frontline, and it'll tell you right on the package okay. that that's the case. Um, some other products here, you know, all herbal type products where it's safe for cats and dogs and all that kind of stuff. Make sure you get cat specific and dog specific because the ones that are good for dogs sometimes harm the cats. Oh, so don't yeah. mix and match. Okay. Make sure the label says that. Especially if you have a household. That yes. Has. yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and you realize when you go buy the products, they're weight dependent mm -hmm. and so you're going to buy the heavier dosages for the bigger dogs and don't get them mixed up and all yes. that and the packages are really good with that um, there's other sprays that after you've applied the topicals you can dose it up even more just in case you do have an issue you can do that shampoos and dips are always they've been around for a long time mm -hmm. realize when you use these type of products it washes away others so check mm -hmm. a label again to make sure these are when people get into trouble you start doing these kind of things just to knock everything down. One of my favorite products is CapGuard uh, that is used if you have walking fleas 
on your dog, use this product, and all of them within 30 minutes will drop off dead. Really? It is an amazing product that you can get. Un and unfortunately, we're running a little oh. bit short on time, but if folks want to get in touch with you and check some of this stuff out yeah. at the store, how can they track you down to do that? We're Petland of Iowa City. We're located at the Sycamore Mall. You can give us a call if you're not sure where we're at, 319-351-9451, or just vis visit us at PetlandIowaCity.com. Perfect. There's so much here to go over, I so that's really, yeah, yeah. that's really good information. But well, thanks so much, Ron. You're very welcome. It's now 7.33 on this Thursday morning. Justin will tell us how close to the 70s Eastern Iowa could get today, plus the arguments my